I found a few maybe since the last one I showed you, which was that one with the interesting bits in it. Nothing that I'm positive is a fossil, but definitely one's worth taking home and having a closer look at. We can see what's inside this one. As I was busy prepping that fossil shark tooth, a little, tiny, tiny little bit of it fell off or went flying, and it's <laughs> it's somewhere in here. I'm pretty sure I saw it go flying this way. So I'm going to have to go through each and every little piece here and look for it. At least it's. It should be shinier than the rest of the rocks, so I'm hoping <laughs> I'm hoping it's easy to spot. <laughs> uh, oh well, let's see if we can find it. It's, it's quite a large piece of the tooth, so I don't want to lose it. I just want to find it and glue it back on. She found it. It only took like three minutes. Um, a little bit of the light caught it and I saw it uh, glinting. <laughs> yeah, that's so lucky. Okay, I'm gonna go glue this back onto that shark tooth before I lose it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed my shark tooth prep. It's not quite a megalodon, <laughs> but I'm pretty happy with it. It's so cool that the roots are so complete. Normally uh, you find the top of the tooth and those fragile little um, bottom bits have broken off. Yeah, I'm stoked with that. <laughs> it turned out pretty well. It was difficult prepping under the microscope because I had the, the camera going through the one side and I was looking through the other side, so I didn't have the stereo effect, so I didn't have much depth of field, but yeah, it turned out okay. <laughs> I suspect this is uh, from a cookie cutter shark, which is a terrifying shark, frankly. It's uh, quite small, but it loves to take chunks out of whales and seals and other animals with its razor sharp teeth and it's got a whole mouthful of these tiny sharp teeth it's yeah look the shark is nightmare fuel if you want to go over google of the cookie cutter shark and its bite marks because they do find lots of animals and fish that have these bite marks on them from these cookie cutters thanks so much for joining me everyone i hope you have a, a good week and i'll see you on the next hunt